بیان بکنم Come, place your trust in God, who is always near you. Amen. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to uh, Sunday at Un Oxen Hill United Methodist Church. Um, I had this wonderful thing done, and now I can't find it. <laughs> but anyway, um, it's so good to see all of your faces here on this beautiful Sunday morning. On behalf of the church and Pastor Cho, I would like to welcome you to our Sunday service. Oxen Hill is, has a diverse and loving family. And if you are new to our church, we definitely want to welcome you with open arms, whether you're here with us in person or joining us via Zoom. If you are new to our church, please introduce yourself here in our building or via chat on Zoom. We welcome everyone regardless of race, ethnicity, language, uh, your background, circumstances, past or present, sexual orientation, all are welcome to join us in worship. May all of your journeys be touched by God. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Oxen Hill. Praise the Lord. Let's just stand all over the sanctuary and give God a hand clap of praise, for he is worthy to be praised. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Come on, we can do better. Let's give the Lord another hand clap. So now we're going to join our voices together and sing with power. Here I am to worship. Here I am to bow down. Yeah. 
together lovely, all together worthy, all together wonderful to me. I'll never know how much it costs to see that sin upon that cross. Let us pray. God of our hopes and dreams, here I am to worship you. Here we are together, together in your holy name to bring our heart, bring our whole selves into you, mighty God. We are empty and long to be filled. We are hungry and long to be fed. We are tired. We are long to be restored and renewed and healed. You know how we are, Lord. We say that we will take a time to refresh our spirit and our souls and then we quickly crowd our lives with activities to the point of exhaustion. We turn to you for feeding and nurture, asking you to give us something to sustain us through our times. We even are willing to tell you that what we have. But when we look closely, we discover that we bring so little to you. Take what we have Take us just as we are, our gifts, our needs. Mighty God, heal and forgive us when we boldly disobey your word. Here I am to worship, we sing together. Here we are as one body of Christ, just as we are. Heal us and forgive us when we seeking other things rather than you. Remind us that you have given to us all that we need to serve you in this world. Gather us into your love and pick up the peace of our lives, just as Jesus gathered up the fragment of the five loaves and two fishes that reminded after feeding the 5,000, call us anew to eat our fill and to find our true nourishment in Jesus, the bread of heaven. Mighty God, we offer special prayers for our loved ones, for our families and friends and neighbors and community and the church and the around the world. We offer special prayers for those who receive hospital treatment. We give thanks to you for your healing mercy that you bring your forgiveness and your grace upon their lives. So we report back to you that our loved one is renewed and healed 
by amazing your grace. Mighty God, also heal our wounded spirit and restore us a spirit of joy. And we offer special prayers for our churches that you will bring many children and youths and young adults, all the people to come to you to be fed by the bread of heaven, to have fellowship together in your love. As we come together in your holy name, we believe that you hear our prayers and you answer that beyond our imaginations. With the believing and knowing that you bring all the, our needs and delivers. Mighty God, we offer our prayers that your son Jesus told us saying, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those trespasses against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Good morning. The scripture I will be reading is Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. I will be reading from the Common English Bible. Paul's prayer for the Ephesians. This is why I kneel before the Father. Every ethnic group in heaven or on earth is recognized by him. I ask that he will strengthen you in your inner selves from the riches of his glory through the Spirit. I ask that Christ will live in your hearts through faith. As a result of having strong roots in love, I ask that you'll have the power to grasp love's width and length, height and depth, together with all believers. I ask that you'll know the love of Christ that is beyond knowledge, so that you will be filled entirely with the fullness of God. Glory to God, who is able to do far beyond all that we could ask or imagine by his power at work within us. Glory to him in the church and in Christ Jesus for all generations, forever and always. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Sister Donna. Well, this is the children's and youth times. I know the Sister Cindy made a, a children's backpack program, so we all support together in order to bring the children into our church. And today's message for children's and youth time is about the feeding 5,000 men. So um, when Jesus want to rest on, in a mountain, but people followed him everywhere he went. Now, Jesus faced a big problem because there is no store around there. There is no village. And then his disciples and uh, Jesus himself and the people surround him. And then disciples were anxious because there is no store to feed them. So when you face the problem, what would you do? Do you think it's a problem or for Jesus, it is not? If you don't have a food, do you think it's a problem or it's not? Uh, yes, Sister Vivian says, it's not a problem for Jesus. It is opportunity. <laughs> Amen to that. Thank you for that wisdom. It is opportunity for, G uh, for everybody. Not even Jesus, but for everybody. So we, when we think that we don't have food, we think it's a problem. But it is opportunity. So look at Jesus, what Jesus did. Jesus said that, bring it to me. There's one knee, five bread, two fishes, a little boy brought to Jesus. It doesn't matter how small you have, bring it to me, and I will take care of it. Don't be afraid. I will bless them to feed 
for those who are sit beside me. So Jesus inviting them, putting it to me, whatever problems you have, and then what Jesus says, invite them to sit down and then pray and bless the five loaves and two fishes. So remember, when you confront some, maybe you think it's a problem, but it is opportunity. And just look at the Jesus, what Jesus told us that, just bring it to me into my hands and I will take care of you. It is big opportunity to experience God's miracles, to feeding more than 5,000 people. Amen? Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Gracious loving God, we give you thanks that we heard that Jesus feed more than 5,000 people. Sometimes we think that it is problem, but it is opportunity to be blessed, to be a blessing. So remind us we always focus on you, rely on your power and on your strengths. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Good morning, church. If you are able, please stand for the reading of the gospel. The gospel this morning is taken from the book of John, chapter 6, verses 1 through 21. I will be reading from the Common English Bible. Feeding of the 5,000. After this, Jesus went across the Galilee Sea, that is, the Tiberias Sea. A large crowd followed him because they had seeing the miraculous signs he had done among the sick. Jesus went up a mountain and sat there with his disciples. It was nearly time for Passover, the Jewish festival. Jesus looked up and saw the large crowd coming toward him. He asked Philip, where will we buy food to feed these people? Jesus said this to test him, for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, more than half a half year's salary worth of food wouldn't be enough for each person to have even a little bit. One of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said, a youth here has five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that for a crowd like this? Jesus said, have the people sit down. There was plenty of grass there. They sat down about 5,000 of them. Then Jesus took the bread. When he had given thanks, he distributed it to those who were sitting there. He did the same with the fish, each getting as much as they wanted. When they had plenty to eat, he said to his disciples, gather up the leftover pieces so that nothing will be wasted. So they gathered them and filled 12 baskets with the pieces of the five barley loaves that had been left over by those who had eaten. When the people saw that he had done a miraculous sign, they said, this is truly the prophet who is coming into the world. Jesus understood that they were about to come and force him to be their king. So he took refuge again, alone on a mountain. Jesus walks on water. When evening came, Jesus' disciples went down to the lake. They got into a boat and were crossing the lake to Capernaum. It was already getting dark and Jesus hadn't come to them yet. The water was getting rough because a strong wind was blowing. When the wind had driven them out for about three or four miles, they saw Jesus walking on the water. He was approaching the boat and they were afraid. He said to them, I am, don't be afraid. Then they wanted to take him into the boat and just then the boat reached the land where they had been heading. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. You may be seated. Let us pray. Jesus, bread of life, 
feed us with your love, with your blessings. Speak to us and nourish our bodies and souls to be healed, to be renewed, to be restored for your glory. Equip us and empower us to share your love to those who need your care, to those who sit in darkness for your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Do you like math? Do you like mathematic? No, <laughs> if you like the math, raise your hands. Randy, you like it. Daddy, you like it. Good, <laughs> good. Anybody else? Barbara, Sister Barbara and Brother George up there. Okay. Good. Let me and then let me test you some math questions. Okay. Are you ready? So, what is the correct answer? Five plus two. Seven, okay, you're right, seven, okay. Mathematically, seven is the correct answer. But the story of the feeding of the 5,000 never works by math, right? But it works by faith. Five loaves of barely bread and two small fish is possible when Jesus is in control, amen? It also has 12 baskets of leftovers. The multiplication formula is with Jesus. There is always abundance. And without Jesus, there is never enough. There is insufficient. The key ingredient in the multiplication formula is Jesus who creates abundance. Last week, we heard that Jesus took the disciples to a deserted place to rest in order to nourish their souls through worship and prayers before Jesus performed any miracles. And today we hear the miracles of feeding 5,000 men and the walking on the water. But today I want to focus on the feeding 5,000 men within 15 minutes. This is the only miracle of Jesus that present in all four Gospels. Mark, Matthew, Luke, and then John's Gospel. Again, people followed Jesus wherever he went. It was the springtime festival of Passover. And late on evening, one of the disciples, Philip, asked Jesus, Lord, the hour is late, and the people don't have any food, and we are far away from any villages. Shall we send them home now? Through the miracle of feeding 5,000 men, here we learn three very important actions for walking by faith. First, Jesus asked them to bring it on. I like the some of them catch phrase on TV, which speak to me, bring it on, whatever you have problems. When Philip said they did not have anything to feed the multitude, a little boy only had lunch for himself. It is very small amount of food. In human sight, it is very insignificant comparing to 5,000 men. So what in the world is the kid doing there in that story? The boy does not have a name. We assume that he was a poor guy. Andrew and Peter brought this little boy who wanted to offer his five loaves and two small fishes. Then the boy offered all he had to Jesus. So what could Jesus do with this small quantity of food? Jesus says, bring it on to me, no matter how small you bring it. I will bless him in whatever you bring it to me. 
The boy shared all he had with others. This is the formula for multiplications. This little boy had a little resource, but he brought all it to Jesus. And Jesus did not use credit card or a huge amount of money to buy food to feeding 5,000 men. Rather, Jesus used these humble gifts of bread and fish for multiplications. In spite of our meager resources compared to the boys' lunchbox, feeding more than 5,000 urges us to bring those resources to Jesus. When we bring our meager talents and gifts to the Lord, God can multiply them beyond our imaginations. The gift of God's miracles are potentially there in people. It is just a matter of a willing heart by encouraging people to use what God has given them. It's not a matter of how much you give. It's a matter of your willing heart. The big boy put God first before his well-being. The boy acknowledged that Jesus first before feeding himself. When we bring our tithes and offering, it means we acknowledge God first before we pay anything else. It means to put God first before we do anything else and acknowledge that God is our provider. God is our source of blessings and everything. Amen. I learned the lesson when I do tithes and offering with my whole effort before I pay a mortgage or a car payment or a rent or spending anything else. I witnessed that God bless me in so many ways. When we bring people to Jesus like Andrew and Peter, the boy in the story to the Lord, we find that God can work wonders with them, just like Jesus used the boy's lunchbox for feeding more than 5,000 people. Not only did Jesus feed the 5,000 men with a small lunchbox, but also 12 baskets full of pregnant left over. This is what we call miracles and multiplications. When a Dr. G. Campbell Morgan learned that one of his members to be evicted from her house because she could not pay the rent, there was on Sunday, a Saturday afternoon, on Sunday, Reverend Campbell Morgan asked his congregation to help with the woman's rent. With the collection of the donations, first Monday morning, he went to woman's house with the money. And he could not wait to tell her the good news. So he knocked on the door hastily, open the door, open the door. But there was no answer. What a disappointment. He knocked again. Please open the door, but still no answer. He went away feeling dejected. Sometime later, he discovered that the woman had been at home all the time. She had been afraid to answer the door, for she thought it was the landlord who had come for the rent. All the time, she cowered in a fear. It was her past to bring her the money she needed, but she didn't open the door. The little boy brought all he had offered Jesus, which made feeding more than 5,000 men. When the multiplication of small resources take root and sprout, the five loaves and two fishes would feed more than 5,000 people. And according to the Bible, it says, why I said more than 5,000 people? According to the Bible, it says 5,000 men, which means this does not include women and children. If it adds up women and children, it is more than 5,000 people. When we're thinking that our resources are insufficient, when we're thinking that we are not enough to put a task, we limit God in our box. 
We want to control everything in our multiplication formula. 5 plus 2 would be 7. When we work by sight, 5 plus 2 only could be 7. But do you know what it means to work by faith? Just like the children's times, it is opportunity. When we work by faith, 5 plus 2 can be bountiful and abundant. In God's sight, 5 plus 2 can be more than 5,000. Second, Jesus makes them sit down before the miracles happen. Sitting down means waiting. Waiting is the category of real faith because when we wait, we recognize that we are not in control. I am not in control. You are not in control. It is Jesus is in control when we be patient and wait for the Lord. God is in control. One of the fruit of the Spirit God wants us to have is patience. In the fast-paced culture, we want to control God with our remote control, just like we use for the TV and CD player. In Psalm 130, verse 5, it says, I wait for the Lord, my whole being waits, and in his word, I put my hope. In Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31, it says, Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk, not faint. When we wait for the Lord, we acknowledge God is in control. Amen? Waiting for God means that we acknowledge God in every situation. So to experience God's miracles require us to sit down in the presence of Jesus. When we are not patient, we easily block God's blessings. But when we sit down in the presence of God and waiting for God to intervene in our situations, we receive what God has to prepare for us. God promised us that I have a big plan for you to prosper, not to harm you. Third, Jesus gave thanks to God with five loaves and two fishes and blessed them. Offering gratitude unlocks God's miracles. Gratitude is the experience of our love to God. It means we acknowledge that God is the one who provides us in abundance. With gratitude, there is always joy and peace and happiness. But without gratitude, there is a never satisfaction. Jesus told the disciples to gather left over. In gratitude, we find God's bountiful blessings. Dear siblings in Jesus Christ, so my question is to you, what is the key ingredient of multiplication? Can we feed 5,000 men? Well, Jesus gave us secret of multiplication. First, what is it? Bring it to God. Bring it on to Jesus, what we have. Whatever problems you have, bring it to Jesus. And second, sit down in the presence of God and wait for the Lord. And third, give thanks to God whatever we have. Always. The multiplication does not work by sight. Instead, it works by faith. When we walk by faith, we can say there is no store to buy food to feed 5,000 men. Walking by sight means we cannot feed the 5,000 men with five loaves and two fishes. Walking by sight we cannot do with our talents and gifts. 
Walking by faith means what we can do with God's power and God's strength. Amen? Walking by faith means that we sit down in the presence of God and wait for the Lord and patiently. Walking by sight means I don't have time or gifts to serve God. I don't have ability to do it. Walking by sight means I am not enough to do certain jobs for God calling us to do. But walking by faith, I can do everything in the name of Jesus Christ who gives me strength and power. Amen? Walking by faith means we give to God everything we have and sitting down in the presence of God and wait for the Lord and give thanks whatever we have and give to all God's hands. That's the secret of the multiplications. We often seek a butter all you can eat for our satisfactions, but God used the boy's small lunchbox to feed more than 5,000 people. God does not use a big church to feed the hungry. Instead, God used a small lunchbox and make a difference. Look at our church. We feed the hungry every Thursday. Even the National Church of God, some big churches, donate the food to our church. And we continue to feed the hungry in the community, what you can do. We are not big enough to feed those capacity, but God allows to do it, and we could be able to serve the community. And that some churches, they don't have enough volunteers to serve the community. Look at us, whatever we have. We often see people who are looking for a big church, and good program for their children and youth. But God only seeks the willing heart whether we bring it all to Jesus so that God can make it multiply for the glory of God. Wherever Christ is present, the impossible becomes possible. Insufficiency becomes abundance. Failure becomes success. So our act of generosity are no match for the power of God, but we bring it to all unto Jesus' hands. Amen? If you do that, I bless you in the riches of God's glory that you may bring all to Jesus and be fed by the bread of heaven and walk by faith for the glory of God. Amen? Amen. Let us pray. Mariga, we give you thanks. You always give us opportunity how we can choose, how we act. In the presence of we think it's problem, but you always prepare for us to prosper. You ask us to walk by faith, not by sight. Mariga, make us to bring all the things into Jesus into Jesus' hands and wait for you that you can deliver us from our situations and give thanks to you all the times, no matter what, so that we can experience the miracles, the feeding 5,000 men, more than 5,000 people. And we believe that you prepare for us, big plan for our church and for our lives. So give us a strong faith so that we can always walk by faith. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Worship, let's stand all over the church and sing with everything that's in us. Love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. sinking deep in sin far from the peaceful shore very deeply staying within seeking to rise no more 
But the master of the sea heard my despairing cry. From the waters lifted me, now save I. Love lifted me, love lifted me. When nothing else could help, love lifted me. whatever you have and wait for God's deliverance and give thanks to God whatever we have. So we bring it all to Jesus. Whatever problems, whatever situation, whatever gifts and talent, let it give to God. So let God deliver you in whatever situation. As we are giving all to Jesus, bring it to Jesus' hands, our sister Elaine will do the special songs. Jesus says, bring it all to me. So share this good news because Jesus will deliver the whatever problems we have and then we will be blessed and be a blessing. God and peace. You give life, you are love. You bring light to the darkness. You give hope. You restore every heart that is broken. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. You give life, you are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart. 
abundant love as Jesus said bring it to me whether it's small five loaves and two fishes no matter what we have we bring it all to your hands but you gotta receive us just as ourselves receive our gifts and talent to offer you so mighty God please bless these gifts Please make a multiply to feed more than 5,000 people, to feed the hungry, to give sight the blind, to give freedom to the captives. Mighty God, bless us and multiply. Make us to be fruitful with your mighty power, mighty your provision and providence. So as we come to you, bring these offerings. Bless us and bless our church, mission, and ministry to seek justice and peace, to work humbly, and to love by your grace. Let the church say, Amen. Amen. Good morning, church. Uh, today is Bread Ministry Sunday, and we're celebrating Bread Ministry birthdays. And anyone else who would like to join us for um, something to eat uh, after after church, uh, we're going to be down in the fellowship hall, which is the big hall. Um, and so we hope that you'll join us for a little bit if you would like. Um, the bread ministry will begin distribution again this Thursday after being closed for July. So we're most grateful that we can resume that ministry. While we were closed in July, um, other churches took over some of our um, produce and things that we could not distribute. And so now we are going to do that for another church who will be closed during the month of August. 
So um, we'll have some additional pickups to do, and if anybody can help with that, if they would see George, that would be great. Um, so uh, Sunday school is at 9.20 on Sunday morning, both in person and in Zoom. Um, the church youth group is the first Sunday of each month, so it'll be next Sunday, the 4th. Um, VIP praise is at 7 tonight. Donna's dance is on Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Um, come and get some um, exercise. And Bible study will resume in September, so it won't be on Wednesday nights. Um, and bread ministry is at 11 with the distribution on, um, on Thursdays going forward. Um, our backpack campaign has begun. There's a sample backpack in the back. Um, it has everything that the list had in it, except for one thing that I still need to get. Um, so you can kind of see what um, goes into each of the 10 um, that we have committed to. Um, they are about a little more than $40 a piece. The backpack itself, which had to be clear, um, was a little over 20 and then there's just lots of stuff on the inside. Almost anything you could think of that you might need. <laughs> um, so if you can help us with that, the envelopes are, um, the envelopes are in the back. And anyone have anything else they'd like to share this morning? All right, you all have a great week. As we prepare to leave this house of worship, Let's stand all over the church and walk into our new season, a season of freedom and a season of victory. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. He'll deliver and make complete. Now I'm walking in victory. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. He'll deliver and make complete. Now I'm walking in victory. Said I'm walking in victory. Said I'm walking in victory. Walking in victory. Got my joy back. Walking in victory, said I'm walking in victory. Walking in victory, got my peace back. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. He'll deliver and pay complete. Now I'm walking in victory. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. He'll deliver and make complete. Now I'm walking in victory. Said I'm walking in victory. Said I'm walking in victory. Walking in victory. Got my joy back. Walking in victory. Said I'm walking in victory, walking in victory, got my strength back, got my joy back, got my peace back, got my hope back. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free, He'll deliver and pay complete. Now I'm walking in victory. By the hand of the Almighty, I've been set free. He'll deliver and make complete. Now I'm walking in victory. Amen, amen. We are walking in victory in Jesus Christ. I just want to give you more update information. Uh, as you see the, on the bulletin, um, the structure assessment updated. By July 9, the, you know, the conference come here uh, to the assessment. We are still waiting for the report, and please be patient for the report. 
And by as of July 21st, we have received approximately $87,109.75 for the roof replacement and capital improvements. So we give thanks to you for those who donated this uh, uh, wonderful uh, st uh, stewardship campaigns. And also, uh, we thanks to our trustee, all the people who uh, replaced the fans at the cemetery behind the uh, post office. Um, uh, we had uh, some ticket from the PG County because people keep dumping the trash there. And even though we pay the money to clean out, but uh, 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 still people dump the trash. We thanks to Sister Sally and um, uh, Brother Sean and then Brother George and then Brother Tim who works uh, diligently to replace the uh, uh, fans as soon as possible. And we had uh, uh, the insurance coverage, put the proper insurance coverage in place, but uh, we have to replace the roof as soon as possible. So please be patient and we give thanks to God for all the blessings we have. Amen. Jesus says, whatever you have, bring it to me. Bring it to my hands. I will take care of you. So do not be afraid. Whenever you face some difficult situation, this is not the problems. This is the big opportunity for us to prosper. So go in peace. God goes with you wherever you go. May God bless you. May God's countenance shine upon you. May God keep you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Let the church say, Amen, Amen. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on his great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we have the victory. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Satan, you have to flee. Tell me who can stand before us when we Call on his great name. Jesus, Jesus, precious Jesus, we have the victory. Tell me who can stand before us when we call on his great name. Jesus, Jesus, Precious Jesus, we have the victory.